In today's video, we're gonna talk about three simple yet powerful ways to reset your motivation and your focus so that you can get things done, even if you don't wanna do it. And the best part about it is that you can do each of these in five minutes or less. Idea number one, the Ivy Lee method. I don't know about you, but it feels like on the days when I have the most important tasks and projects to be done, are the days that my motivation is just not there. We can't always wait for a moment of inspiration to hit us where we feel motivated and we can start making progress. Instead of spending 20 minutes agonizing over which task we're going to work on first, we are going to try the Ivy Lee method. It's a simple 100 year old hack that bypasses paralysis. In 1918, Charles Schwab was one of the richest men in the world, but that was not enough. He was not done. He wanted more. So he reached out to Ivy Lee, who was a productivity consultant, and he called him into his office and said, hey, I need you to teach me and my team how to do more in a day. Ivy Lee stood his ground and said, okay, give me 15 minutes with each of your executives. That's all I need. And Schwab replied with, well, how much is that going to cost me? And Ivy Lee said, nothing, unless it works. I want you and your executives to try this for three months. And if it works, just pay me whatever you think it's worth. Needless to say, Ivy Lee walked to that whole agreement with a $25,000 check, which today would be worth millions of dollars. So what is the Ivy Lee method? At the end of each day, you quickly write down six tasks that you need to work on tomorrow. No more than six. Then you prioritize that list from most important to least important. When you come into work, you don't have to think about what you're gonna do today. You've already decided the day before, not only what you're gonna do, but the order in which you're gonna do it. So you're gonna start with task one on that list and you're not going to work on task two until you finish task one. What if I don't finish my six tasks for the day? That's perfectly fine. All you need to do is take whatever task you didn't finish and move them to tomorrow's list and make sure that there are only six items slated for tomorrow as well. Do the same thing and prioritize them and you just keep repeating that every single day. Listen, I am all here for doing things when you get a little bit of inspiration. So if you wanna try the Ivy Lee method right now, Pause this video, grab a pen and paper, and write down six things you wanna to accomplish tomorrow. Now, these just aren't six random things. These are the biggest priorities to you right now, today. These are the things that have been nagging at you that you just would feel so much better if you got them off your plate. Write those down, and then you're gonna rank them. You're gonna put a number from one to six, one being the most important, six being the least important, and then you're done. You've completed the Ivy Lee method, and that, my friends, is the power of eliminating decision fatigue. And if you are new to this channel, there is a video all about decision fatigue and how much it plagues us and weighs us down because we have to make so many choices. So if we can limit the amount of choices that we have to make, and in this case, we're being proactive and doing it the day before, we're gonna wake up with so much more energy. We're just gonna be able to get started, stay focused, and hopefully build momentum because we're just feeling so good about getting so much done first thing in the morning. Idea number two, change your physiology. Okay, so maybe you made your Ivy Lee list and you're still not feeling it. You're not any more motivated. You're not actually feeling like starting anything. Before you decide to go sit on the couch and just call it a day, I want you to consider this our lack of drive directly correlates to our physical state. This is all based on a principle called embodied cognition. And all that means is that our minds and our bodies are connected through energy. And a lot of the times what we're told and sold is that our mind gets motivated and it's confident and it's energized. And that is what charges and moves our body. But the opposite is true. That means moving our bodies actually creates energy that helps us boost and motivate and juice up our minds as well. It is definitely a two-way street when we talk about movement and energy, and there's a connection between our minds and our bodies. That blew my mind. So if the Ivy Lee method is not working for you, here's what I want you to try. I want you to dance. I want you to jump around. I want you to do some push-ups or some jumping jacks for two to three minutes and get your body moving. My absolute favorite thing is to dance around at home when no one is watching. And I gotta tell you, it makes all the difference in the world to me. I feel so much better. I've been silly. I get out of my head 
and I'm ready to get back to work. And I usually have better ideas, I'm more motivated, and I have so much more focus. Give it a try and see if it works. The worst thing that can happen is that you can have two to three minutes of fun. Okay, so you put your Ivy list together, you have danced it out, and you still need a little bit more motivation. I got one more thing for you to try. That is idea number three, change your story. So it had to be about 20 years ago that my husband and I went to something called Landmark Education. And I think it was all around building better relationships. And one of the things that I learned at Landmark is that we all tell and create stories. It helps us make sense of what's happening, especially when the other person isn't necessarily telling us the details that we need. We complete them ourselves. There's a problem with the way we tell stories. When we don't have enough information, we assume the negative, that nagging inner critic that keeps us feeling small and scared and doubting ourselves is what is most easy to pay attention to. But we are not stuck with those storylines. We are the authors and we're gonna use the self-authoring principle to change the narrative around those storylines once and for all. So the first thing I want you to do is to notice the unkind, unhelpful, unproductive stories you tell yourself. Things like, I'm a procrastinator, I'll never follow through, I won't be successful, I'm lazy. Next, I want you to consciously create an empowering narrative that combats those lies. So things like, I'm focusing on making progress and not being perfect. I may have procrastinated in the past, but I'm going to make every effort to just have fun and experiment with different ways of being more productive. What is so cool about this is that by consistently implementing these self-authoring principles, you're actually changing your neural pathways over time, which means that negative self-talk, which was so automatic before, is now gonna be replaced by positive and uplifting beliefs, which is gonna fuel your motivation and your focus. There you have it, three simple yet profound ways to increase your motivation, boost your focus, and just help you feel and be more productive throughout the day in less than five minutes. So the next time you feel like you're drowning in your to-do list and you don't know where to start, I hope that you will refer back to this video and try one of these three techniques. The key here is to find the techniques that work best for your life. I want to help you make so much progress this year. So if you're interested in pushing past procrastination and learning more about the tools and techniques that can help you make progress on what matters, then please subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you as part of this community. Until next time, live and be well.